Shalom from Israel. We are here in the southern part of the nation of Israel and I want to welcome you all for this very special Facebook live event that we are carrying out. In just a few minutes I'm going to make a very exciting announcement in regard to the Feast of Tabernacles, to the celebration of Sukkot. And uh, I want to sh show you a little bit where we are. We are in the area of uh, Beresheva, not far away. This was the place where Abraham was living, where he was digging a well, where he was living with his family for several decades. This is the land of the patriarchs. And uh, you will see in a minute what this has to do with the Feast of Tabernacles this year. Now, I wish you could see right behind that hill here on that side, you see right now a Bedouin village. Behind that will, one of the most amazing miracles in Israel is taking place, where the Israeli state was planting millions and millions of trees right here in the, de in the, in the Negev desert. It became this most southern artificial forest in the whole world. And Israel is a pioneer here in this region to green the desert to such a degree that just a few weeks ago, John Kerry, the state secretary of the United States, he was here and he says, I'm convinced with what I'm seeing here in the desert is that Israel has the answer for global warming. This is a very fascinating story and it's taking place right here in this area where I'm coming to you. Now you might wonder what does this area have to do with the Feast of Tabernacles. And I will keep that point as a surprise for all of you for the very end of this Facebook Live. But again, everybody who is joining us on the Facebook Live, welcome. I hope you can understand me uh, in spite of the heavy wind here, but it's an, it's an amazing place here in Israel. We, as a matter of fact, we have just the very first warm days here in Israel. The month of March was the coldest month of March with probably the most rainfall ever detected here in Israel during the month of March. The Kinneret is full. Uh, the land of Israel recovered its water resources. And we are here today. It's one of the first warm days that we do have here in Israel. Now, the an, an amazing announcement that I want to make with you today, and I hope you all are praising yourself, is there will be a physical Feast of Tabernacles in Jerusalem 2022. I say it again, we will have this year the first physical Feast of Tabernacles in Israel since the COVID crisis uh, um, stopped or paralyzed global travel. So this is a very exciting announcement because I know many of you have been calling us, have been sending us emails. They say, you said, Jürgen, are we going to have a Feast of Tabernacles this year? And uh, the good news is, yes, there will be a physical Feast of Tabernacles taking place. Now, this year's Feast of Tabernacles, since it is the beginning of a new season in a way after the COVID crisis, it will be a complete different Feast of Tabernacles. The Feast of Tabernacles this year, unlike in previous year, we do not start in the south in Engedi, but we will take you right at the shores of the Sea of Galilee, right there at the place where Jesus ministered to his disciples, where large masses and crowds came to the feet of Yeshua to listen to him and to hear his teaching. And we will be there for two days right at the shore of the, key of the Sea of Galilee. And we will have amazing worship and teaching sessions every evening, every night, right there at the very same place where Jesus and his disciples ministered. During the days, you have amazing times to do your own touring, to visit the land. And then after those two days in the, in the Galilee, at the shores of the Kinneret, we will take you up to Jerusalem. And this is going to be what I believe the climax of the Feast of Tabernacles. We are going to uh, open the feast with the roll call of the nations. That means in the Pace Arena, we already reserved the largest stadium in Israel, the largest arena in Israel, and we are going to welcome all the nations. Their flags will be presented 
before the Lord and we are going to pray for your nation, that God will send revival to your country. We will hear amazing speakers for two days that are joining us from around the world and I'm absolutely sure that the Lord will give you a prophetic word from Jerusalem for your personal life, for your ministry, for your family and I pray also for your nation. We already now have the information that some heads of state might be even joining us during the feast. So it, was, it will be an absolute spectacular time. At the end of the, the, the conference in the arena, you will be also uh, uh, able to join us for the Jerusalem March. That means like every year we will be marching through the streets of Jerusalem and you are going to experience what it means that the Jewish people are very excited about our support. They will be waving at us and you have the chance to tell them that you love them, that you are supporting Israel even in this very critical time. And then from Jerusalem or in Jerusalem, we will take you to the garden tomb. And I believe those of you who have been with us in recent years, you, you remember the amazing service with hundreds of people from all over the world, how they are worshiping Jesus together right there in the garden tomb, where many believe Jesus died and where he also rose from the dead. And this will be an amazing time in Jerusalem. We will have a very special prayer gathering in Jerusalem. We are planning also some other exciting events. You will hear that about on our, on our uh, web page. And you might ask yourself, why do I make this announcement in this quite unusual place right here in the desert, in the Negev, in the south of Israel? The theme this year, the land of promise, is that we want to take you to see and to have an impact in the land of promise. That's why we start the feast at the lake of, of the Sea of Galilee, uh, Kinneret. We will take you to Galilee. You will see some of the biblical sites. We take you to Jerusalem and then we conclude the feast right here in the south of Israel. We will be at the very border of the Gaza. You will see the threats and the challenges of the Gaza community and also the blessing that we could bring over the, the recent years to these various endangered communities. But also what I'm very, very excited about, we right here where you see it's a desert land, we want every pilgrim of the Feast of Tabernacles to plant its own tree here in Israel. That means when you are leaving the land of Israel, when you are going back, you will leave something behind. There will be a footprint of you right here in Eretz Israel. And before you go to the airport, before you head home, there will be a tree planted in your name right here in this area where I am. I can't tell you how excited I am about that. It will be, I believe, the best Feast of Tabernacles that we ever had. And I want to, ensure, I want to invite you personally you see, this is an, a, a very attractive place for four-wheel drives and motorcycles, but I can't tell you how excited I am to invite you. I believe this will be an amazing time in the presence of the Lord. I want you to remember that the Feast of Tabernacles is a moed, a time where God promised to meet with his people. And I'm sure that God is going to meet with you. He's answering your question and maybe he will touch you even in your life wherever you need a visitation of the Lord. So I look very much forward to visit you. I believe you will see several links here on this page where you can register for the Feast of Tabernacles. And I look forward seeing you in Jerusalem at the Feast of Tabernacles. Until then, God bless you here from the land of Israel.